There's an absolute honking ton of sport games out on the market, so any new product would have to be pretty darn good to get noticed. It looks like Microprose knew what it was doing when it designed Ultimate Football 95, because it has the features to make it one of the premier football games out there. The great thing about Ultimate Football 95 is that this is a game for the PC, allowing the player to set up leagues, edit stats, and stuff like that. It doesn't just play like some empty translation of a Nintendo game. Speaking of empty, we thought it appropriate to invite Buffy, Woo! the captain of the IE cheerleading squad, to help us review Ultimate Football 95. Come on, y'all, yell! Come on, yell, y'all! Ultimate Football 95 has two different styles of play, the coaching mode and the action mode. The coaching mode. Go coaching mode! The coaching mode lets the player act as, what else, the coach who substitutes players, calls the plays, and watches his team perform. The action mode is... Go action mode! Woo! ...is where the player actually gets to be part of the action. The player still calls the plays and subs players, but now when the ball is hiked, the player controls the ball carrier. Plays are called using the play menu, which brings up a list of the plays in each team's playbook. The player cycles through each play using either a list of the play names or by cycling through each individual play's diagram. Yay! Go diaphragm! Ooh! Should I tell her? Think it would matter? Mm, good point. Anyway, this menu is the weakest part of the game since if you aren't very familiar with that particular team's playbook, cycling through each individual play takes more time than what you're allowed in a real football game. The designers have tried to help by including filters in the menu system, so if you want a passing play that is designed for medium yardage, the menu will only show you passing plays designed for medium yardage. It helps, but I just wished that it would show me more than one play at a time. Having to cycle through all the individual plays just takes too much time. It could have been more efficient. Once you get used to the menu system, everything else is great. When you play in action mode, on offense, you're the guy with the ball, and on defense, you choose which defender you want to be. Offensively, once you hike the ball, the play is in your hand. You control whoever has the ball, and if you're the quarterback, any handoffs, fakes, or pitches are made automatically. But you do have control when the quarterback must pass or run with the ball. When passing, the quarterback tries for the main receiver. Oh. That reminds me, like, my best friend Missy, you know, she, like, gave me some money to get, like, a Diet Coke. And it's, like, funny, you know, because I, like, still need to give her a quarter back. As the quarterback, you wait until your receiver is open and then throw the ball. You just wait for your man and fire. Some folks will probably be disappointed in the fact that there aren't any spots on the ground or anything else helping them to know when to throw the ball. But if it ain't in real football, it probably ain't gonna be in this game. One of the shining features in this game is the camera view. Ultimate Football 95 has a lot of different preset camera views like the scoreboard view, the sideline view, behind offense and defense, and more. Those are great, but the really neat feature is the ability to put the camera anywhere on the field you want. You can zoom in and out and pan the camera anywhere in the stadium. And when you take the ability to save all the plays in a game and play them back using the camera to watch from any angle, it's a powerful learning tool, not to mention fun. The graphics in Ultimate Football 95 are good, but not great. The players look very pixelated, very blocky, especially when viewed up close. But even though they look blocky, they actually move pretty smoothly and realistically. The tackles are especially well done. There's none of that style of reversing directions instantly. In Ultimate Football 95, if the player is moving in one direction, if he wants to go in the opposite direction, he has to physically turn around. It's very realistic. Like, that's not very realistic. And, uh, why do you say that, Buffy? Because he didn't fall down when he turned. Every time I turn around, I have to go, like, really, really slow, or I get dizzy and fall down. See, like, he just kept running. Uh, should I tell her? Wouldn't help. The depth of Ultimate Football 95 gives the player the ability to really get into the heart of the NFL. Everything is customizable. You can edit the names of the teams, coaches, and players. You can edit all of their stats and attributes, and you can even mess around with each team's personal playbook. The player can edit the names of the plays and even the play itself. Custom plays can even be designed with the playbook editor. You can also enter practice mode, where both teams will run whatever play you want them to, so you can try out your brilliant creations. Microprose's Ultimate Football 95 may not be a perfect game, but it is a very good one. You know, I, like, broke up with my last boyfriend because of that same thing. You know, he, like, had a good car, but, you know, it wasn't perfect. Woo! Come on, y'all! Yell! The graphics and sound are good, but what sets this game apart is the overall quality. Everything that is included in the package is done well. While no single element is particularly groundbreaking, the whole thing makes for a very involving and fun game. Whether you like football action or strategy, this is the ticket. It's a lot of fun to play a game that has its act together like Ultimate Football 95. 